into top eight. So here we go. We got the snake one more time for you guys. We're going to see if he can stand up to the task of Nico's Shulk right here. That's right. Now, of course, Shulk has a much more disjointed hitbox than uh, Peach does. So he might be able to snipe out these grenades a little bit safer. But let's see if he's able to overcome the traps that he's going to be setting down. Yep. Now, earlier in the day, we saw a lot of mileage coming out from Smash Mode from, uh, from Nico. Ooh. Oh, trying to do the four throw into the, the C4 setup, but uh, wasn't quite there on it. Okay, poking with those back airs and forward airs. All right, just throw the grenade. Definitely a lot less explosions than in the Razo match. I feel like he's being a little bit more careful because Joel can zone break a little bit easier. Yes. Than Peach can. Oh, oh, I like the trap coming out from Key. Put the Akita in a position where you cannot uh, just approach horizontally anymore and then punish the air dodge with an up tilt. All right, that forward tilt in. Approaching with a neutral air. We don't see a lot of snakes doing that. Yeah, it's usually like a landing tool or like a combo extension. You don't really see that in neutral, but there we go. And I get some damage tacked onto Nico right here. But Nico does in fact clip that grenade and does cause him to explode. Approaches from there again, explodes on his own grenade, unfortunately, but lands with a C4. That's and right. Just lands it on uh, Nico. That has a huge hitbox, so you gotta be aware of where that C4 is. Alright, the grenade is there to protect him. Yeah, and as soon as he hits it, it detonates. He's gonna be able to defend himself as he tries to land to the ground. And more down airs out of shield as Key continues to try and stay on stage. Wow, even using the, the little drone. <laughs> to recover it. Yep. Even on stocks right now, but still a lot of damage has been talked on. Okay, wow. now 2-1 now in stocks. And I like that he just took that trade. He blew himself up knowing that that was going to kill Nico and just take his stock. Yep. And as he's throwing out these hitboxes, those grenades are looking like uh, uh, Nico's ex uh, bane of existence right now. Yeah, Nico having some trouble. Now, Nico should be very aware of all these traps that are coming out from Key. Maybe it's just a little bit out of practice, but he was a brawl player, so he did have to deal with this on the daily. Yep. All right. Just the up throw. Uh, okay, I guess that's a thing, kind of. It traded. Uh, it wasn't quite able to kill, but still. Yeah, um, he dropped the C4 from really high up. It's almost under that platform on the right side. Let's see if Nico saw it or if he's going to be baited into falling in for a trap. Really oh, low shield. Yeah, that shield's looking very dangerous right now. Okay, it looks like he did see it. Great parry comes in with the dash attack, and then Nikita comes out. Wow. Look at that recovery coming out from Nico. He got to the stage so quick, but... Uh, yeah, right, slash look, 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 Looking like Smash 4 backslash. <laughs> backslash. Yeah, does clip the, the ledge normally. <laughs> Normally, Nico always has like the same expression. Whether he wins or loses some games, he's just like, I mean, he looks, he looks so done. <laughs> weren't you saying earlier that like the, the nicest players just look like straight murderers when they're playing this yeah. game? Well, Nico just looks tired. He doesn't look like a murderer. Oh, I don't know. He looked like he was ready to take someone out. <laughs> <laughs> Going back to Pokemon Stadium? Yes, we will. Okay. Now setting up his traps. I like that. Getting a Nair to grab. And then extending into a forward air. All right, grab release. What's the option going to be? Goes for the Buster Art. And that forward tilt does 21% with Buster Art. Today I learned. Oh, 13 from a dash attack. He's definitely on the losing end of this Buster mode. Back throw. <laughs> Man, I like that. Using the grenades to cover both uh, attempts at recovering from the ledge, both the jump and the neutral getup, and then just going backwards to further to catch jump drift. Yeah, covering a lot of options, and that's what really Snake is about. Just setting up these traps, making it very difficult for your opponent to maneuver. And then punishing when uh, they choose the wrong option. I like that too. The, the I think that was a wave bounce uh, grenade, actually. He's able to change up his uh, momentum right there. That's right. There's another forward air coming out from Nico. Wow, and the recovery being interrupted by F-Smash. Try to find some kind of pick up there after the down throw. Might work out there. Yeah, I like the positioning from Grenade. He's going to explode himself, but uh, he's not in a position where Grenades will kill himself yet. But Nico playing very patient. Uh, letting Key set up these traps knowing that they're not actually in a position to threaten himself. 
Oh, and an up tilt just catches him on the anti-air. Gonna be able to take out that next stock here. Okay, Smash is online with 147%. He has a lot of options available to take that stock. Yep, and goes with that, with uh, Nikita not quite being launched in the correct, correct direction there. Okay, jabs on the shield. with that third one connecting. I like that covering the jump with up air. All right, gets a forward throw in into the Nair train, and it goes for the forward air, but not able to quite find it. All right, Buster mode again. Here we go. Who's going to be taking all the percent here? Looks like it's potentially... Uh, Nico right now. Oh, wow. yes. That conversion into the explosion from the up smash gets a lot of damage onto Nico here. The pivot F tilt from Key is going to send Nico off stage. Oh, that could have potentially been it, but he gets popped up the wrong way. I'm not so sure if that was like a DI thing or just how the move works in general. Well, I'll have to figure it out later. But wow, being very offensive, running off stage and throwing at the down air. Yeah, just did it so quickly that he didn't really have time to react to see what was going on. And we haven't really seen him use that option uh, from the matches that we've seen on stream. So for him to do that uh, isn't uncharacteristic of him, but still uh, really surprising. Yeah. Oh, but another C4. That's going to be able to take out that next stock there. Okay. You're going to see a down throw and follow up with a forward air. Now Buster Mode is going to be his opportunity for big damage. Wow. Oh my god, Nair to down tilt did so much damage right there. Yeah, it was like 40, down 30 throw. to 40 damage. Gets himself some space, gets their grenades out, and gets another down throw, forcing him into shield because of those grenades. Yeah, he tried to throw him into the grenade, but it just uh, was not the correct angle. Good DI coming out from Nico. We're going to see another forward air, and now air slashing back to the stage. Yeah. Sort of chasing uh, Key all over the stage, even off. Will he make it back? Oh, the upward directional air dodge after the back air. So smart. If you throw out a, a, an attack onto the ledge because you're still in the animation, you won't be able to come back. But if you cancel it with a directional air dodge, you should be able to be just fine. And just like that, Key is back onto the stage looking to try and get another stock here. You know Key is looking for those up tilts. Back air. Both shields are pretty low. And sneaking in a back air, clipping Key as he... Floats right back to the stage. Oh, trying to find that up to both of them. Put up shield in time, and the forward tilt comes out, and that's still not enough to take the stock. Not yet. Directional air dodge back to the ledge. You know, keys. Okay, another F tilt. Not going to take it just yet. 165. Both players have kill percent. Covering the ledge get up with a, with a couple grenades. Now the Akita's in play. All right. Putting him in one more chance, in, but gets the up smash, and the explosion comes in. Gonna be able to take up to take that next stock and keep one more to move on into the top eight. And Nico is, looks like he's not having a good time right now. I mean, the game lied to him. The game told him he won that game. Yeah, yeah yo, man, that, that the score useless. was one one according to Smash Ultimate. That zoom in thing is completely useless. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm gonna tell you that right now. It's like it's deceptive. You yeah. can't you can't always trust. The, the game to know yeah, when the game is over. Yeah, it's just like the red lightning, dude. Yeah, it's it, like, it's, it's, exactly like, it's, like it's not gonna do it. It's like, man. Whoa, okay, so big change coming out from Nico. He has been playing Richter, uh, he was playing Richter when the game first came out. He's doing a lot a lot of lab work with it. Uh, but this is the first time I've actually seen him use it in tournament. Yep, okay, so Richter has three um, projectiles available to him, the cross, the axe, and the holy water. The holy water can be picked up uh, before it hits the ground, and then the axe and the cross can actually be hit or parried. So there are counterplays to them, but when used in conjunction, it can still be a very difficult uh, uh, ability to use. That's right, especially whenever holy water has been pl uh, positioned correctly at the ledge, it can be making it to follow up very easily into an F-Smash or an F-Tilt. But wow, the F-Tilt, or the forward air, uh, is enough to actually knock Snake off his recovery. Yep. Yeah. And if you s ever see a like a questionable dare after a short hop or something like that as Richter, what they're probably trying to do is they're probably trying to do a back air or a forward air with the downward angle. It's not quite a 45 degree angle, so you can't use the ridges on your GameCube controller to be able to get it. It's a little bit less than that. It's like how you try to get those um, angled like forward smashes, for example. It's just not quite uh, enough. That's and so, right. So sometimes you can get the downward uh, or you can get a down air instead. Well. Uh, Nico was trying to set up all his projectiles, his axes, the Holy Cross uh, at the ledge, but grenades will interrupt that. And as you can see right there, the mortar coming in clutch. 
covering that roll option. Oh, wow. C4 into the. Oh, I like that. He had the grenade in hand, so he just walked backward away from the holy, uh, from the holy cross. Hey, wow! Both down air and the grenade connecting. That's a ton of damage put onto Nico in a matter of a few seconds. Even using the Akita to try and cover the ledge uh, doesn't work, but still, that's a lot of pressure. Yep. All right, the holy water is there. Doesn't quite get the setup into a potential forward smash. Still looking really good for Key, and of course, Richter doesn't have too many options off stage, so that was just a free Nikita for him to get the kill there. That wasn't even like him trying to set up for, for a Nikita trap or for make his grenades work. He straight up beelined right into Nico. But Nico is able to clean up uh, Key's first stock. All right, double down air. If you DI in on those, then uh, you can't get more follow ups afterwards. Ooh, double dash attack, though. Tries to end his life there with the spike. And yeah. wow, that was actually a really risky dare coming from uh, Nico to make it back to the stage. Yeah, one misspaced uh, dive kick like that, and it was game over. Oh, and the explosions. I mean, he will take those trades any day. Already taking Nico to 94%. This Richter is not looking like the answer for the snake, but he's going to get that forward tilt. And just can't get the startup on his projectiles out in time. I mean, it's really difficult whenever you have like a two grenades and Akita and a C4 that you have to watch out. That's very difficult. Yeah, nowhere to go. Gets a grab, puts him off stage yet again. Not too many options left for Nico to try and make it back. The Dazz Smash comes out, but a forward air is going to give him back a little bit of control here on this game. Yeah, I like that. Just approaching. Oh, he put another C4 down. I didn't even see that one. Key.